2023 Kia Telluride Review, Everything to Everyone. Kia's Telluride has been on the market in the USA for just three years and, in that time, racked up a firm fanbase, loads of awards, and the appreciation of family-oriented buyers who love that you can get something practical, and safe without compromising on style and class. The Telluride doesn't hold back from the fight, and when going up against big names such as the Toyota Highlander, Honda Pilot, and its own corporate cousin that is the Hyundai Palisade, it needs to come out swinging, and it does. Not just with a well-suited 291 horsepower V6 engine, but also with updated styling, a plush cabin that suggests a much higher price than what's on the sticker, and a list of standard features longer than your arm. And now, with a 10-model lineup that features off-road-oriented trims, there's even more to love about this hulking SUV. 2023 Kia Telluride changes, what's the difference vs the 2022 Telluride? Kia has enhanced the Telluride for 2023 with updated styling, new trims, and a fresh interior. The new X-Line and X-Pro trims provide some rugged off-roading capability with standard all-wheel drive. X-Line models get a unique grille design, raised roof rails, model-specific 20-inch wheels, and exclusive colors. It boasts a higher ground clearance, improved approach and departure angles, an upgraded traction control system, and tow mode for enhanced trailering performance. On top of this, the X-Pro adds bespoke 18-inch wheels with all-terrain tires, and a 110-volt inverter outlet in the carg area. It can tow up to 5,500 pounds when properly equipped. Added tech for the new Kia Telluride SUV includes a standard 12.3-inch navigation and multimedia screen, standard Wi-Fi hotspot capabilities, an optional full display mirror with home link, and an available smart power liftgate. Further enhancements include intelligent speed limit assist and junction turning warning on the forward collision avoidance system. Finally, interior and exterior looks are freshened up with new front and rear fascias, lighting, and wheels, as well as a redesigned dash and center console. Pros and cons. Unbelievable value for money. Class-leading second-row legroom. Gorgeous interior punches well above its weight. Loads of standard features. Extensive lineup with broad range of features to suit any budget. More sedate than spicy to drive. Not particularly frugal. No hybrid option. 2023 Kia Telluride Handling and Driving Impressions The excellence of the Telluride is in its ability to do many things well, and when it comes drive and handling, it's no less impressive. Despite its size and weight, it handles with aplomb and feels agile. There's a particular gracefulness and sense of elegance about it, and while it prioritizes refined comfort over anything else, it's not a dead weight beneath your fingertips. In comfort mode, steering is light and the driving feel is perfectly suited to daily trips between home and school, but switch to sport mode makes things feel a little tighter. It doesn't matter where you take it, you'll get the same dependable, smooth ride and confident handling. It never loses its composure and, with new off-roading trims, will do even better when you decide to tackle some off-roading adventures with the family. It's not trail-rated Wrangler, but it won't let you down over a couple of ruts and on some mildly awkward terrain. Verdict, is the 2023 Kia Telluride a good SUV? The Kia Telluride is an easy vehicle to recommend because it ticks so many boxes and does so many things well. Most will be sold on its reasonable price tag alone, and with 10 models to choose from, with around $17,000 differentiating base from top trims, there truly is something for everyone in the lineup. And yet, even opting for a lower-rung model won't leave you disappointed because you still get everything the Telluride presents itself to be, a safe, comfortable, and capable family car. Mid-range models offer the best of both words, and for under $50,000, you're likely to find a car that can do everything you want it to, and more. This is truly one of those great all-rounders that make recommending it a pleasure. 2023 Telluride Interior For 2023, Kia has decided to redesign the layout of the dashboard slightly. It now features dual 12.3-inch displays that act as infotainment and gauge clusters and reminds us of similar layouts in cars, such as the Cadillac Escalade and BMW 9, both vehicles that occupy spots higher up in the food chain. 
This shows that Kia is serious about challenging the old guard regarding luxury and value for money. The rest of the interior is handsomely appointed, well-built, and features fine material choices. The less informed would swear that the Telluride costs a heck of a lot more based on the cabin alone. Seating and interior space. The Telluride is all about moving families in style and comfort and offers seating for up to eight people, or seven if you go with the second row captain's chairs. Heated seats up front are standard from the S trim and ventilation from the EX, and mid-range models feature eight-way power adjustability for both the driver and front passenger. Higher up, you get 10-way adjustability, including lumbar control. The Telluride is spacious, offers ample headroom for all three rows, and tops out at 40.2 inches in the middle row. Legroom is equally impressive, those in the first row get 41.4 inches of space, second row occupants have an ample 42.4 inches, while those in the rear get a respectable 31.4 inches. Getting in and out of the Telluride is a pleasure, and once inside, visibility is good and backed up by driver assistance tech. Interior colors and materials. Kia has come miles in terms of interior build quality and material choices, and we can honestly say that higher Telluride trims feel as premium as true luxury European SUVs, which is saying a lot when you look at this sub's price tag. The base model is offered with black Syntex seat trim. The S trim adds grey as an upholstery color option, and the EX and SX adds leather upholstery in your choice of black, grey, grey and navy, black, or mahogany. The latter requires a $295 fee. X-Line and X-Pro models are offered with black leather at no cost, or sage green or terracotta for $295. Nappa leather in these colors is available to Prestige X-Line and X-Pro trims. SX Prestige models get leather in black, gray, gray and navy, or $295 mahogany. Important touch points such as the steering wheel and shift knob are also covered in leather when you enter the mid-range. With 10 models to choose from, the Telluride can truly be everything to everyone. The lineup comprises the LX, S, EX, EXX line, SX, SXX line, SXX Pro, SX Prestige, SX Prestige X line, and SX Prestige X Pro. All models feature a 3.8 liter V6 engine with 291 horsepower and 262 pound foot of torque. Power goes to the front wheels on the base models with all-wheel drive standard on X-Line, X-Pro, and Prestige models. All models get a comprehensive safety suite as standard, with items like forward collision warning, blind spot collision warning, rear cross-traffic alert, lane departure warning, lane keep assist, lane following assist, navigation-based smart cruise control, and highway driving assist standard across the range. Higher trims get more, with evasive steering assist added to the collision avoidance system, a blind spot view monitor, enhanced highway driving assist, park distance control, a surround view monitor, and a head-up display added as you move through the trims. Other standard features include dual-zone climate control, push-button start, and a 12.3-inch infotainment screen. Upgrades, as you opt for higher trims, include wireless phone charging, interior mood lighting, power front seat adjustment, ventilation for the front seats, and a larger 12.3-inch digital driver instrument cluster. What's the price of the 2023 Kia Telluride? The Kia Telluride's price is one of its key selling points. This Korean SUV is a seriously good bang for your buck buy and offers near-German levels of luxury and comfort for much, much less money. The 2023 Telluride's MSRP starts at $35,690 for the entry-level LX. This price excludes tax, registration, and a destination fee of $1,335. The S costs $37,590, and rises to $41,290 for the mid-range EX. The off-road-focused EX X-Line costs $45,485 and the SX is yours for $45,490. The SX X-Line creeps closer to $50,000 with an MSRP of $48,885, and the SX X-Pro sells for $49,885. The SX Prestige breaks the $50,000 mark with an MSRP of $50,390, and the SX Prestige X-Line costs $51,785. 
The most expensive of the lot is the $52,785 SX Prestige X Pro. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.